Round 2 has begun of the Sparkman YouTube Dueling Tourney. And first up, we have Cree, the number 1 seed, versus the number 5 seed in the Renique Gaming in the Western Conference. Oh baby, this is going to be a banger. Um, I don't know who's going to win, but uh, all I know is that this, this is going to be a banger, for sure. For sure, for sure. So let's get right into game one. Game one underway, and here we go. Ooh, Creed's playing uh, my favorite, Sharks. Oh, I like it. Um, and what is Renee playing? Let's see, let's take a little quick look. Some sort of, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I, I'm not knowledgeable in the meta, but all I know is that Sharks are awesome, and I'm rooting for Creed. I'm not, I'm not rooting for anybody. But I love I love Sharks, because that's my, my deck that I run with uh, on EDO Pro and in tournaments and everything like that. So, Oh my. What is this? Sword Soul? What is, what is this thing called? Shang Ying? Oh my god. I believe I pulled this card once. This thing is powerful. Holy crap. Alright. Let's see what he's able to do here. All right, Creed is down to 2,200 life points. Um, Renee's still at that uh, powerful 8,000. I think this might be game right here unless able to do something. Oh, all right, good counter right there. All right. Yep, he's gonna be able to bring out that. Maybe. Mm, uh, Creed needs to run my guy. Uh, I forget what his name now is, but it's like a, a purple looking uh monster creed loses the first game but it's a purple looking monster and you know he uses the effect and could uh take down this beast of a monster really easily I'm just forgetting its name all of a sudden um but let's go to game two and see what happens there but creed loses the first game um just thanks to this card on renee's gaming side all right game two underway and um hoping for a closer game this one because uh Renee barely lost any life points last game um, and that uh, Sheng Ying monster, or whatever you want to call that thing, um, was uh, really powerful, honestly. All right, going to take 2,200 here in gaming, so a little bit better for Creed being able to do some damage on Creed's side. But, oh my goodness, loses both monsters immediately. Uh, Danger Bigfoot brought out by Rene Gaming. Um, I'm just going to attack for a 3k real quick. So 5,000 left on Creed's side and life points. Uh, not looking too hot, but Proud of Prosperity is used. Um, let's see what Creed's able to do here. Return for Princess, uh, Buzzsaw Shark, okay. Buzzsaw Shark's effect, nope, but he'll have uh, Silent, uh, what's this thing called again? Silent Angler to be, to be used, oh, get out of here. All right, brings out Buzzsaw Shark, and search for Buzzsaw Shark, but you can use effect and now right hand shark, wow. Yeah, that's the one, number four, Stealth Kraken. I was wondering why Creed didn't bring this one out in the first game. If he had brought this out in the first game, it would have been a game changer. I'm so confused as to why he didn't bring that one out. He has it in his extra deck. I don't know. Creed may have misplayed there in that first game. I would definitely not have brought out uh, Bahama Shark at the end of that uh, first first game, but that's just me. But um, Creed's able to take the second game here. So uh, let's see if uh, uh, who can win the third game because we're tied 1-1 now. So this is getting interesting. Game three underway, and uh, we have a banger, ladies and gentlemen, because it's tied 1-1. One, one. Um, it's like best of five, so uh, who takes the 2-1 series lead? Um, looks like Creed's off to a banger of a star here. All right, totally awesome use. <sighs> oh my goodness. Brings out that uh, annoying monster that you can bash cards with and then, you know, do some uh, hefty uh, work with. All right, number four, Stealth Kraken. See? If he had just done that, I think it would have been great. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there was a reason he didn't do it. I, I'm, maybe I'm losing it. All right. Gamma Seal brought out. All right. Some more powerful monsters on the side of Renee Gaming. Renee Gaming at 6,775 life points. What a, what a weird number to be at. But, uh, yeah. Kree just loses one outright with uh, that Maju card. Yeah. So, we go into now game four with Renee Gaming leading 2-1 in this series. Um... I mean, that was a very powerful move by Rene Gaming, for sure. I'll bring out that Manju card, or whatever you want to call that monster. Um, just that hefty, whatever, how many cards are banished in your banished pile. 
times whatever, right? <laughs> it's like it's been ridiculous. South Dragon brought out, Infinite Permanence brought out. I'm able able to use uh, Kragen's ability before uh, being able to negate it, so pretty clever on Kree's part there. Pot of Prosperity used there, so we're gonna be able to hopefully grab something useful here. Um, okay. Actually, summon for Bahamut. That's a beautiful move, actually. Battle phase. And Kragen's ability bring out both. Uh, what is this number? Oh, not number, but sell Kragen spawn, and then bring able to bring this one back out. Use Kragen's ability again. Take that. Use some more life points. Take that one out. Zeus brought out. I mean, pretty good move here by uh, Creed. So uh, gonna be really hard for uh, Renee Gaming to to get anything going here. Wow. So take that one out, but has the other spawn. Poof. My goodness, totally awesome, and negates it. I think this is just a GG on uh, Renee's part, and he, yeah, it looks like that's the case. Going to game five, ladies and gentlemen. It's the best of five, and we go all the way to game five. Let's see who takes winner take all and moves on to the Western Conference Finals. Game five underway, and it's winner take all. Winner go home. Who's is, <laughs> can't speak. Who is going to move on? <laughs> Um, all right, Creed goes first here, and uh, uh, be able to bring out number four Self Dragon is a big plus on his side. Uh, Gamma Seal ruins that real quick. Oh my goodness, lots of the move being made here. Let's see what happens. Renee Gaming able to do some damage here. Uh, Infinite Permanence used, so he's gonna be able to negate that. But uh, XC Monster brought out here. Looks like he's gonna be able to bring out an even stronger XC's Monster here. Even bigger, stronger XC's Monster. 4,000 on the side of Creed. Gonna be taken here. So 4,000 left on the side of Creed, while 8,000 left on the side of Renee Gaming still. Uh, man, Creed better be hoping for something special here. Guess for Geki. Okay. For Geki use. Takes out Zeus and Faith. No Lantern Shock brought out, but 4,000 life points on the side of, of uh, Creed. Not looking too hot here. Eight cards left. Danger Bigfoot. Six cards left. Oh my gosh. 3,000. Not. Oh my god. Goodbye. Creed, you lose this one in a most surprising fashion of being able to just have five cards left in the deck for Rini Gaming and just be able to crush Creed real quick in like two or three turns. Um, Wow. Okay, the number five seed in an upset game takes on the number one seed in the Western Conference Finals. Wow, did not expect that. Amazing job by Rini Gaming. He moves on to the Western Conference Finals. Creed had an amazing season, uh, being number one in his conference. And uh, yeah, both number one seeds now knocked out of uh, their respective conferences. So now we have some upset alerts looking like it's about to happen. So number five seed uh, moving on and... Uh, you know, I mean, it, it's impressive. It's impressive to see a number five seed be able to not just beat a number four seed, but also beat a number one seed. Wow. I mean, come on now. This is impressive. Um, all right. Uh, make sure to check out our sponsors, by the way. We got Top Thief TCG, Game Day TCG, Astroworld, and Orica Shop. From yours truly, it's Sparkman. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, YouTube.